lick them rooms, y'all. Entertainment Talk, Birthday Talk. You are listening to the Doug Stewart Show here on the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network. So we just got an update. Um, uh, my man Kesey with the Kicking It With Kesey Show comes on tonight on WSME, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Jeff Fox, 1 p.m. Eastern Time, immediately following me. Uh, John Fisher, Cooking With The Microwave at 2 p.m. And That Ninja at 6 p.m. Eastern Time uh, today on WSME. We're talking about 2009. That's the throwback year and all of the other sports little conversations that we're having as well. And uh, I remember this as well. I remember this story. You remember when rapper Coolio uh, attempted to stage dive? Nobody caught his ass. When he hit the floor, he was beaten up, and they took that ninja shoes. <laughs> That's messed up, man. That's messed up. In 2009, that was like eight years ago. Coolio got to be over 50 years old. So not only was the man old and still trying to rap, and he only had one or two hits in his day, but he tried to stage dive or whatever, hit the floor, and they beat him up and took his damn sneakers. That's crazy. Also in 2009, Michael Jackson, the king of pop, died, man, while preparing for a uh, series of concerts. Tragic. Michael Jackson dead. Prince dead. It's crazy, man. Unbelievable. At uh, relatively young ages. Very young ages, to be honest with you. Uh, so those are some of the things that happened in 2009. Let me jump in the chat on Spreaker.com. He says, uh, let's see what we got here. Sluggo, exactly T-Dub, and now we're witnessing the unintended consequences. From Cool Cell, Big L, should I go see All Eyes on Me Friday night or what do or wait, I guess he means, to next week, hoping ninjas watch the fire stick. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I went back and read the chat yesterday. Hey, you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. And somehow we got talking about Magic Johnson, I guess it was uh, because of the 30 for 30 the other night, uh, which last night I saw, I think I just saw the last hour, the 30 for 30, on Best of Enemies, Lakers and Celtics. I missed the first hour. 
Uh, so I, I'll go back and watch it again some other time. But I watched the last hour last night, man. But we were talking about how how Magic Johnson had these movie theaters and, and they're in the hood. And uh, black people just don't know how to damn act in movies, man. They, 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 you know, not everybody. But to a large degree, that stereotype is mostly is, is built, is based on some some truth. Like ninjas go in a damn movie, man, and have full-out conversations like, you know, nobody didn't pay hard-earned money to come see this darn cinematic experience. <laughs> right. And so my man Cool Cell saying he's trying to decide. Yeah, I'm going to go see the Tupac movie too, but I'll go see it as a matinee uh, or I'll go see it, you know, at 5 o'clock or whatever. And, I mean, I lived in an area where it ain't, you know, it's a mixed population. So, I mean, I'm pretty Gucci where I can go and see this film and not have to worry about and then just talking about, you know, what they did last night and they're going to see their man and this, that, and the other. Yeah, I'm definitely going to see it. The dude that they got playing Tupac, man, he got to be related to Tupac. You know how they say Pop is a Rolling Stone? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure Tupac and that dude got the same daddy. They look exactly alike. Exactly like KC, Doug was mad yesterday, but now he can't be. Uh, from number one Dolphin fan, he says, according to Doug, it's okay when Massa put the super team together, but it's lame when the players take control of his own future. Y'all got to stop with that narrative, man, uh, in this particular case. Y'all got to stop with that. The differences between these guys going and setting up and playing with each other and I've said this many, many times before, but let me say it one more time for the record for any new listeners we got to the show. The difference is, is when players played or they uh, ended up being with a quote-unquote super team, it was because of trade or it was because the player was drafted. It's much different today. It's much different today with this Durant situation and Golden State. And you got to remember something else as well whenever you talk about this for the people that feel like, you know, my man, number one Dolphin fan. This is sports. This isn't This isn't like a, a corporate job or anything. You know, people always say, well, if you want to leave your job and go to another job, uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Nobody says anything about that. But sports is different. Sports depends on it being a competitive league. It, it, sports depends on there being parity. If for every single year, the best players – the best free agent players go and play for the Golden State Warriors year in and year out. What we've seen the last three years will continue, theoretically. Think about this now. So imagine if the best player, if the MVP player the year before, when he becomes a free agent in the summertime, he says, I'm going to go get me a ring and I'm going to play with the Golden State Warriors. Much different than the way it was done before once again. So if that happens every year, this year Kevin Durant goes and plays for Golden State. Next year LeBron goes to play for Golden State. When James Harden's uh, contract is up, he goes to play for Golden State. And Golden State wins 10, 12, 15, 20 championships in a row because of this whole thing in 2017 where the best players go and team up and play with the best players on another team. That, That The league would fold. The league would fold. Well, first of all, the NBA would do something to try to thwart that, kind of like what they did by, you know, changing the rules and allowing these free agents to get $50 million more with their team now. So I'm just saying, you know, in, 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 in a in kind of like an experiment. If they were to continue like this, there's a reason why Golden State has played Cleveland the last three years in a row in the NBA championship. If y'all don't see that, then that's your problem, Okay. If you don't see it, and it's not going to change. I said a couple of days ago after the championship that I don't see any reason why Golden State is not going to be in the running to win championships every year for the next six, seven, eight, nine years. Why, why, Why is it not different? Sports is different as an entity, as a business, than a regular corporate job or working at McDonald's or whatever. You have to have a competitive league. You have to have products out there that can compete against each other. So point is, stop trying to make this about mass of this and mass of that. It's about being competitive. Okay? It's about being competitive. It's about the team that you had down three games to one last year, you know, 
You somehow find a way to lose that series, and you say, you know what? I'm tired of struggling. I'm tired of being competitive. I'm just going to go and join these cats. Please stop it. I ain't even trying to hear it. I uh, appreciate your patronage, though, Dolphin fan. Uh, from LD from the D, Doug, stop saying that stupid ish. Stack team's been around since the 60s. Wilt went from the 76ers to the Lakers in 68 by forcing a trade. Stop right there. You can say all you want. I'm glad you said that because a lot of times what y'all do, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show, a lot of times what y'all do is you'll ignore that whole thing about a trade. Whether it was forced or not, it was a trade. You can speculate on whether it was forced or, or it was it not forced or whatever. The facts are facts. It was a trade. Any scenario you give me with those teams and those players back in the day with the quote-unquote super teams, it was a trade. That's it. I'm glad you did mention that, though, because a lot of people we get into this conversation, they, they conveniently ignore that fact that they were traded, okay, that they were traded. That they were traded. <laughs> Big difference. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And, and it sounds like a lot of times, man, y'all just want me to take the easy way out and be like everything is cool. Everything ain't cool. Stop it. And if I came on here and made like everything was cool and agree with all of y'all takes, that wouldn't be fun. That's not fun at all. It's the truth. I give you real opinions. Based on evidence, based on facts, I just don't throw out nothing out there. It's lame as hell. That's my opinion. You may disagree, and that's fine, and that's what we debate on. Period. But coming on here talking about stop saying this or mass of this or mass of that, stop it. Please stop it. I ain't never going to change my opinions for none of you ninjas. <laughs> never. That's not to say if I'm wrong about something, if I pick Georgia Tech to win the national championship and they don't, I won't acknowledge it. But these are opinions. Really, at the end of the day, it's all just opinions. We can agree to disagree, but stop it. Stop it with, you know, what I'm saying is silly or or stop it is stupid or whatever. Just stop it. It's my opinion. Back in three minutes. I'm going in. Food for thought. Uh, think outside the box for a sec. I've been off to a jump start. Call me Rooney with the order. Eric Christone with John Park. The way I throw a dart. The hood showing love. The hood throwing slugs. I be spitting, trying to tell a hood not to go nuts. Higher in the sky, the hold ups. Hold up, they put a double barrel pump in the face of the teller. Now what you supposed to tell her? After a tragic incident, she only supposed to see in a motion picture. Because Daisy, I focus feature. Catch reactions like doggy diamonds when I'm writing, but I just speak up. Yo, turn your speech up. I'm your speaker. Freaking speaking reality through your speaker. Intelligent mental wars, founders, and settlers before us left even traces of death on the earth's floor. I'ma work these words for what it's worth. Boy, rock and status straight from the horse. No great mind, no gladness. I just go beyond the ages. I just flow beyond the pages, go overboard when I'm creating. Straight up, nigga, you can eat a dick if you hate me. Kill yourself, die already. Stop delaying, I hate whack MCs who play. They got the floor, but they ain't saying shit. Vocals like scopes on guns, so I'm aiming it. The media fucking up, yo, so I'm spraying shit. The media like to twist shit up, so I'm spraying shit. I spit hot lines, leave real marks on the beat. Culinary perfection, go make rub for the streets. Alarm clock, slow, wake, walking dead, out they sleep. Habanero, Terrio, when I bring the heat. Yeah, yo, I love my listeners. Spit and leave blisters trying to free my mental prisoners. Yo, I love my listeners. Trying to free these industry prisoners. Nigga. 